Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always and today I'm going to be showing you how to export audio only using HitFilm Pro and then also with HitFilm Express. The tool is used, um, the same steps are going to be used in both programs. So what we've got here is actually a little video clip that I recorded not too long ago in a, an upcoming episode or series as you, as you will in HitFilm Pro. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on that um, series coming up that we're going to be doing on HitFilm Pro. So the audio in this clip is got some background noise. Um, I'd like to clean it up a little bit more. I'd like to use a little bit different, well, I'd like to use a different tool other than HitFilm. Um, I'd actually like to use Audacity if you guys have any comments or concerns or if you want to see a series done on Audacity, we can go ahead and do that. Leave a comment down below. Um, but for today, we're actually just going to be exporting audio only. That way we can take the audio file out of HitFilm and put it into a different program so we can um, do some a little bit better fine-tuning some neat effects in the audio side of things. So let's go ahead and play through this so you guys can hear it. It's kind of a bizarre clip without any context, but the series is kind of neat, so please hit that sub button. There is a little bit of, like I said, some some white noise in the background, some, you know, the audio on the camera that I used isn't great on that microphone, so we want to clean that up. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, drag, you know, whatever footage you've got down in your timeline. You're going to go ahead and right click, and we're going to unlink those two footages, okay? We're going to go ahead and highlight just the video and delete that. So now what we want to do is go over to our export panel, and we're going to come over, and it's going to default to the queue. Obviously, we have nothing in here because we're not going to be exporting anything as of right now. Let's go ahead and click on our presets. And as you can see, I've already got one made, but we're going to go ahead and show you how to build that. So let's go ahead and click New Preset. We're actually going to be choosing an MP4 because after we're done with this, we're going to be converting that MP4 into an MP3. So let's go ahead and just... name that whatever you want to name it and what we're going to do it's super simple don't change any of these settings just uncheck the video that's it that's all we're going to do and then go ahead and click ok and then it's go ahead and add it into your um, user presets that you've saved so let's go back down into our timeline we're going to go over under the export tab add to queue and then contents and then we're actually going to change this preset from the youtube 1080 to the new audio only that we just created and we're gonna go ahead and hit export. All right, so that's gonna export rather quickly. Um, the next step we're going to do is actually, we're gonna go ahead and minimize HitFilm. We're gonna go ahead and bring up the HitFilm Pro exports wherever you have that saved on your computer. Go ahead and open that up. And as you can see right here, it's gonna be just the audio from the clip that we just exported. So. Um, but unfortunately, it is still packaged as an MP4 and not an MP3. We don't really care about the MP4 because we're not going to have any video. We're not going to have any text or images. So what we want to do is we actually want to convert that to an MP3 so we can import that into, let's say, Audacity or any other type of um, platform that we can do some editing with. So let's go ahead and bring up the um, MP4 to MP3 converter that I use a lot. I actually like this. Um, it's actually on the Microsoft Store. I'll put a link down in the description below. Once you get to that link, we're going to bring to the Microsoft page. Go to go ahead and click Get, and then we're going to go ahead and open it in the Microsoft Store. We can go ahead and exit out of Chrome, and then go ahead and click Install, and it's going to do its thing and go ahead and install. Okay, so now that we've got this installed, you can either go ahead and launch that Strict, straight from there or we're going to go ahead and click our Windows tab and are actually going to drag and drop that so we can create a shortcut on our desktop. Let's go ahead and open up the MP4 and MP3 converter. This is as about as simple as it gets. All you have to do is choose the file that you want to convert. We're going to go ahead and click my computer because that's where it is. We're then going to travel on our desktop over to the HitFilm Pro where we've got our exports, select the file that we just exported and click open. It's going to um, give you a list of the files that you have selected to convert. And then we're going to go ahead and click start conversion. Once that disappears, you can open the MP3 folder. Typically it defaults to the music folder. And of course, right here, here it is. Um, this one is the one I did previous and it's the number two. Always name everything so you know 
what your files are, where they're at, that kind of thing. So now that we've got this, we can actually keep this open. We can close our MP3 converter, open back um, into HitFilm Pro if you want, or you can go ahead and load Audacity. I just want to show you that this is an audio file. Right here, drag and drop, and there it is. The waveform created by the end, as you can see here, the editor, and then two in the brackets, and then it is an MP3 file. And that's all there is to it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And again, if you guys like what we're doing here at the studio with HitFilm Pro, HitFilm Express, Inkscape, please leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys next time.